What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now with this video, we are jumping into X-Men Hellions issue number 17. If you haven't been keeping up with this line, go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with the Hellions. Now, not too long ago, the Hellions went on a mission to retrieve Nanny's ship from the mutant hate group known as the Right. They were successful and Nanny also came back with something else that she really kept a secret from the rest of a team. And that was a baby AI smiley robot because the robots found a way to self replicate themselves. And so with Nanny taking it home, Orphan Maker was really hurt by the lack of attention from Nanny. And with Nanny's full focus on this new little robot, he eventually found out about his new little brother. And after Nanny found out about this, Nanny was furious with Orphan Maker. But even that was nothing in comparison to the right taking over the ship and taking this baby jettisoning it all the way to where they are. They kidnapped this baby from Nanny. And in doing so, Nanny was severely hurt. But Nanny survived. And in her grief, she scolded Orphan Maker. Worse than ever before. And now, Orphan Maker, he is on a rampage. And so with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into issue number 17, we are picking up and Psylocke is making her exit. She is done with Krakoa, she is done with the Hellions, the DNA that had her daughter, it got destroyed. And that is because Empath, he powered up Havoc. In doing so, this destroyed the entire facility that Sinister had created. This cloning center, this cloning farm that he created, and it was the only location that had Psylocke's daughter's DNA. And so unable to do this team anymore, unable to stay on Krakoa, she goes to make her exit, but Emma Frost stops her. Because at the end of the day, Psylocke is one of the captains, and she really wants to know, why are you leaving? Why are you doing this? But Emma Frost doesn't even have to ask, and Psylocke knows that. Because Emma Frost knows exactly why she is leaving. But in the midst of this conversation, the Cuckoo'd show up and let them know that the Rite has infiltrated Krakoa. That they took control of Nanny's ship. Nanny had been severely hurt, but survived. Now, they debriefed Nanny in the healing gardens. She knew who attacked her. It was her husband. And she gave them a location in Arizona where the right facility is at. An orphan maker, he was hiding nearby and he heard, he overheard every single word of it. And he stole a ship and he headed directly for Arizona. And Psylocke, she knows exactly what she has to do. She has to go stop Orphan Maker before he massacres an entire facility of people. And that's where we pick up in the Arizona desert. And Orphan Maker, he's already made his arrival. These soldiers, the, these mercenaries are doing their best to try and hold him off. But there is nothing stopping him. Asking where his little brother is. The doctors, they're watching on monitors. With the little AI baby in their hands. They are watching as Orphan Maker cuts through their forces like they are butter. And the good doctor says to send in Zeta team. Now back at the hangar, Psylocke is getting ready to take off. But this is when the other Hellions, they start showing up one by one. The first of them being Havoc. Now at this point, he feels like he has to do something. You know, after what happened to his daughter, not knowing what happened with his powers, you know, realizing that it was Empath, but he still feels guilty about it. He feels, he still feels like this is all his fault. And he wants to do something, anything he can to make it up to Psylocke. And this is where we see Grey Crow, we see Nanny, we have Empath show up, everybody's showing up to come and, and do this as a team. Now Psylocke's saying, you know, we're not a team. We should have never been a team. I don't know why we ever thought it was even possible to form this team together. But Grey Crow lets her know that that's never stopped them before. And he doesn't see why it should stop them now from going and trying to rescue Orphan Maker before he gets himself into too much trouble. And with Empath showing up, just acting like his smug, arrogant self, Grey Crow told him, if I ever see you again, I will put a bullet in your head. 
the only thing that stops him is Psylocke. Now, being smug yet again, saying that they're gonna need him, Psylocke tells him, you know, Grey Crow may not be killing you right now, but you are definitely not coming on this mission with us. And picking up at the right base, we have them hurrying, trying to lock up the doors, doing everything they can to run away because Orphan Maker is here, and he is showing absolutely no mercy to anybody. Telling them that he's a good boy, he goes in and he starts wreaking havoc. Saying that he is not worthless, saying that he is not stupid. There is absolutely nobody that is able to stop Orphan Maker. Now on the outside of this base, we have Zeta team preparing to infiltrate and take on Orphan Maker. But as they prepare to go inside, this is where they see the rest of the Hellions making their arrival. And Psylocke tells them that they don't have to hold back on these guys. These guys are a mutant hate group that have guns. Make sure that they hurt. And so with Zeta team going in to make their attack, Havoc is the first one to use his abilities and he sends a blast headed directly in their direction. And so this is where the fight begins. With all hell breaking loose, our mutants are making quick work of these guys. With their inability to stop them, their inability to do anything against them, the Hellions are running through them. And on the inside of the facility, they are running around frantic as well because Orphan Maker, he has made his way inside. He has made his way inside to the doctor and he has found his little brother. He has found the AI robot. And with him taking it in, with it being safe, we see Nanny come into the room and he tells Nanny that he got him back, hoping that Nanny will praise him, that Nanny will call him a good boy. Nanny still is extremely rude, says that you're upsetting him and immediately goes to taking care of this little baby, making Orphan Maker even more sad. But this is when the little AI baby, it starts to say words. It starts to say mew, mew. But then it says it's full sentence. It says mutant. It says mutant scum. And we see the eyes charge up, and it sends a blast, killing Nanny right there on the spot, splitting her open. Because this was a self-replicating, AI mutant hating robots. They had no clue at the time, it was still in its infancy. But now Nanny has paid the ultimate sacrifice, and Orphan Maker absolutely loses it. With the doctor laughing his head off, saying that that was absolutely fantastic, knowing that the mutants would always be the downfall of Nanny, Orphan Maker goes over, grabs his neck, and he takes his head and he has it do a 180 spin, grabbing the other doctors and murdering them right there on the spot. And so Orphan Maker is now on a rampage, far worse than before, because they just killed Nanny. Now on the outside, our Hellions, they have dispatched with Zeta team, and they hear off in the distance gunfire going off, Realizing that this is Orphan Maker, they know they have to try to get to him before it is too late. And as he blasts away everybody, saying that it's not funny that Nanny died, that nobody is going to laugh anymore because everybody is going to be dead. And as they try to make their escape, running out of the building, he is filling them with bullet holes, massacring this entire place. As he makes his way outside, there are two local police officers with their guns drawn, not knowing what is going on, but saying that this is federal land and that he is engaging in illegal activity and he needs to put his gun down now. And as the Hellions make their way inside, they find the body of Nanny on the ground, seeing the little AI smiley smashed to smithereens. They know that Orphan Maker isn't going to take this well. With them hearing gunshots outside, they all run outside and they don't know what to expect. They just know that something is off. Something feels very wrong. And as they look at Orphan Maker, they ask him, what did he do? And with him on the ground, with him on his knees, rifle fall into the ground, two dead cops in front of him, he lets them know that he simply could not stop. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. You know, this played exactly how we thought it was going to play out. Orphan Maker absolutely lost it. At first, it was simply to try to seek the approval of Nanny. But after seeing his quote-unquote little brother 
murdering Nanny right in front of his face with the doctors laughing their heads off, Orphan Maker snapped. Orphan Maker finally broke after all of this time, after all of this degrading, all of this anger building up, Orphan Maker finally just broke. And we see what happens when Orphan Maker breaks. Everybody in his path got murdered. People's heads got spun around and he could not stop him. He could not stop himself once he finally came across something that he probably shouldn't have killed. Now, this is going to have huge ramifications later on. We're going to see this affecting the, the relationship on a political level. And so, who knows what is going to happen next? The Americans are more than likely going to want to hold somebody responsible. Someone is going to have to pay for this. And we can only assume that that will be Orphan Maker. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next video.